Hello aspirants, in this video we will take you through the process of filing the MDI admissions application form for the batch 2024-26. The deadline for the same is up till 24th of November 5pm. The form is available on the MDI official website and is also available in the description below. Before starting the form filling, it is highly recommended to go through the instructions available on the same link. Once you have gone through the instructions, you can proceed and register yourself to access the application form. Kindly note, the mail ID provided here will be used for all further communications. After registering, you will get an email on the provided mail ID through which you can access the application form window. After logging into the portal, click on the Apply Now option available against the MDI application form for two-year full-time PGP 2024. Now fill out the basic details and make sure to not miss filling out any mandatory field. Under Campus option, select your preferred option and similarly under Program, you can select as many programs as you wish to apply for. After filling the basic details, you can proceed on to the next section. Under Parent Details section, fill out the basic details of your parent. Post this, kindly proceed to the next section whereby you need to fill out your address details. After this, proceed to the next section of Educational Qualifications to fill out your details of Class 10th, 12th and undergraduation as per your respective board regulations. In case of CBSE and ICSE board, you need to consider the core 5 subjects to ascertain the percentage. In case your board does not have any specified regulation, you need to consider all the subjects mentioned in your mark sheet. For conversion of CGPA into percentage, consider your board regulation and in case the board does not specify the conversion factor, you can calculate it by taking your CGPA and dividing it by the maximum CGPA multiplied by 100. Also make sure that the percentages are rounded off to a maximum of two decimal points. Additionally, you can add on to your post-graduation or professional degree only if applicable in your case. Moving on to work experience details, under this section, please enter the required details. Also make sure to enter the latest work experience details first and then so on. If you do not have any work experience then you can skip this section. Moving on to the next section of documents, make sure you follow the required guidelines with respect to the format and size of the file. Under your graduation certificate, you can upload your graduation degree or provisional certificate. In case you don't have your degrees yet, then you can collate and upload your mark sheets in a single PDF format. Post filling out all the required details, you can move on to the final section of declaration whereby you need to tick the I agree option and then preview your application form to cross check all the entered details. Post verifying the same now, you can proceed to the payments window to submit your application. We hope this video was helpful. In case of any doubts, you can directly use the ask any questions option available in the application form or can even reach out to us via the comment section. Thank you for watching and all the best for your journey ahead.